And hello, everypony! It is I, Lightning Bliss, and I'm doing another TF2 reaction video. Again, this is basically me critiquing my work that of the TF2 Analysis Anarchy that was directed by Josh Scorcher and Dr. Wolf. Uh, so I'm the video editor, if y'all haven't been watching my vids, and basically just keeping you up to date. So, last time I watched um, Keyframe sit Guide to Century Gun Buster, and um, I skipped over the April Fool's one and went straight into the next episode, where it was with Toon Critic, Finn the Pony, and myself. And yeah, so I need some copy. <laughs> mm. But now we're gonna jump into the next video. And that has to do with the snipers. Now, I had a lot of fun with this because, again, it was like when Seven Asian Army came out, I was given all this opportunity to expand my horizons with effects. So, with the snipers, this gave me a little bit more breathe room to be able to express those effects a bit more. So, we're just going to get started. Yay. And three, two, one, go. Hey, voice, you know what this is? No, you've only been talking about it for the past five hours. It's called Definitive Proof I'm Better Than You. Oh, come on. That plot point was so contrived and you know it. Do you even read the comments? Oh, what's that? Sorry, I couldn't hear the hate over the sound of your salt. Okay, that's <laughs> it. 1v1 me, scrub. I find it huh? funny that I, me. I actually did have to throw content. in new effects for all. Golden Fox in this one. Because I didn't want to bug so back to Brony. Do? The object is simple. I call a shot and try to do it, and then you have to do a harder shot. If I can and you can't, I get a point. <laughs> then we switch. <laughs> Had to act more effects can, with more characters running in the background. It's points, better that way to make it. sure everybody knows that, hey, the All other right, team is still so, around. Wait, wait, isn't this horse? Yes? Yeah. Paul! Oh, this was fun. Beat that, golden boy. Paul. Easy. Piece of cake. I had a slight issue with the hand getting in the way. Kind of not noticeable unless I pointed out. Your move, Goldilocks. <laughs> that time I fixed it. Oh, this I gotta see. And then I don't. Nah. Paul. A minor nitpick. <laughs> I can barely get this game up and running. You think I actually can hack something? Well, if your earlier performance against the robots is any indication, you are a hack at something. Well, you're... a poopy head. Well, we can't cuss. That's it! I love making that vector. Get, 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 it's only two vectors. Surrounded by man children. You're one to talk. Yep. And you were the one who hired them. Don't remind me. I'm gonna I'm gonna pat Firebrand on the head here and say you're one to talk, sir, considering Dr. Wolf has to pull you in the reins every time we come up with a new project. <laughs> so that was snipers. Um I honestly don't have a whole lot of nitpicks here because um yeah, aside from that. If you look closely in the video when the robot heads are falling onto the catapult, you'll notice that it covers the handle. It's a slight annoyance. I could have gone back and put a mask on it so you could still see the handle, but I figured it was so small and the scene was so short, nobody was going to notice anyway, but I noticed, so... Eh, again, a minor nitpick, and if I can try to do better in the future, I will, just to avoid those nitpicks. Um, yeah, that script came along. I'm not sure who came up with that script, to be honest. I I think it was Doc, or it was Firebrand, and... Yeah, I know lately, uh, Golden Fox, um, he liked the idea, but he really wants to go back to his roots of protecting Keyframe, because that's why he joined the team in the first place. Uh, which makes a lot of sense, and I, I can understand his feelings on that. The whole reason why he joined the team was to protect Key. And so we're hoping to get back to those roots soon. But it was nice to have a little competition between the red and blue because that's what they do. They tend to compete. 
not comparing that to the red versus blue episodes that we see uh, that are from uh, Rooster Teeth. Um, but yeah, it was a fairly easygoing project. Um, it, it still gave me some opportunity to express myself with the effects, like the speed backgrounds going on when they're facing off against each other. There's more characters going on in the background, and I figured, yeah, I need to do that more um, to show that the other team are, in fact, in the map, and they're all training together. So Toon and Mad Munchkin were training the background, as you saw. Um, yeah, and, and I guess at, as far as we go, I try to act enact more movement going on in the background, so hopefully I'll get better with that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all keep an eye out for those rainbows. They'll make you smile.